Long ago, a revolutionary new technology called email was created, letting people send messages over the internet. Then, years later, in the land of the blue hair and the old ladies, California, iMessage was created. And with iMessage came read receipts, a feature that lets you know when your message was read. After these many years, you would think that the email might have some sort of the same thing, so you can know better when you're getting ghosted by companies or whatever, but it doesn't. So what if with a little bit of programming, we could track our emails and know exactly when our emails get read? Alright yeah, let's do it. Today we're going to make an email tracker from scratch that will notify us when any emails that we send get read. Trackers like this are used almost everywhere on the internet and it's one of the ways that companies track how you browse the internet. And you might be thinking, is this an invasion of privacy? Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is understand a little bit about HTTP. It's how computers talk to each other on the internet or like an official code that computers agree on for talking to each other. When your browser needs to request data from a website, it'll send out a GET request. This is just text that says, I need to GET, and then it describes whatever it wants. So when you visit a website and your browser needs to show you information, your computer will send out the GET request through the internet to whoever is hosting the website. Then whoever's hosting the website can reply with whatever's needed. When we go on Google Images and search up an image, what our computer is going to do is send out that GET request and then the server that's hosting the image will send it to us so that we can see the image. When we monitor the network traffic by pressing F12 on Firefox so we can see like what's going out and what's coming in and then you know look at an image, we can see that this GET request is being sent out so then we can see the image. That's so crazy. Alright so now back to the email. What if we sent out an email with a picture in it? We gotta be a little bit careful here because if we just add the actual image to the email, like this, then the actual data of the image is in the email and our browser doesn't need to send out the GET request. Instead, we have to send an email with the image, but say that the image is from another website. We need this to happen because if the GET request comes back to us, then we can detect that the email is opened. We can do this by sending the email in HTML form, where an image is sent with the link that the browser has to ask for the image. Just like when we look at an image on Google, it comes from a link. HTML is just a programming language for web pages, but what Google will do is translate it so that on the receiver side, it just looks like normal text in a normal email. There's a ton of ways that we can do this, but we can just write a short Python program that can do this for us. Basically what it does is it just takes a little text that we have in HTML with the link of the image and sends the email. So we're going to put the link of the picture that we were just looking at in our email and send it out. And then we're going to see what happens. So we got the email and when we open it, our browser sends out the get request so that we can see the picture in the email. Alright, so that's pretty cool. But we don't want to have to attach a picture of Dean Norris to every email, right? So we're going to have to do a little bit of thinking. Okay, so we still want to send out the get request, but we don't want the person or the receiver to know the pixel. Um, fuck. So we don't want the receiver to know that like there's an image attached to the email, right? So what we can do is make the image just a one by one transparent pixel. This way, when the email gets opened, the receiver still sends out this get request but the image is going to be invisible in the email. So now it just looks like a normal email. This is what's called a tracking pixel and it's used a lot on the internet. So when you visit a website, chances are that somewhere on the site there's a invisible one by one transparent pixel so that the website can know how you browse their stuff. Alright, well that was just a fat grind. So now we can take a quick break for a message from a sponsor. That's right, this channel out of all sp out of all channels has a sponsor. So this video is sponsored by Outlet. It's an app that works like a savings account, kind of like Chime or Current, but it's different because it's powered by cryptocurrency. They offer a cash account with the highest interest rates in the world that offer 9% APR. Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? This means that every year, you can earn up to 9% of your money, much more than you would from a normal savings account. This is a great way for people that don't know anything about crypto to benefit from it. 
Outlet connects to over 15,000 banks and all your funds are protected against their coverage policy. This means that if any electronic hack were to happen, you're protected. If you want more social proof, they have a Discord where hundreds of their active users hang out and discuss their earnings and all that. They're also going to be coming out with a debit card soon for the app, so be sure to use the link in the description to start earning. Alright, cool. Thank you. Okay, so where we're at is when the email gets opened, it's going to send out this get request, but it's to the server that hosts the image. And we have nothing to do with the server, so we can't do anything with this. So instead, we have to make it send a get request to a server that we own. Ah shit, that means that we're gonna have to make our own web server. But that's all good. Pretty much we're gonna be using Amazon AWS and Nginx to get this up and running. What this means is that we're gonna set up a web server on the cloud. And all this takes is just a little bit of configuration. So we're just gonna run some commands and set some things up. And then we're gonna get an elastic IP address, which pretty much is just like a website with numbers. And yeah. Just like that, now we can access our web server from our browser. And now we're going to have to write some code to process the get request. Remember that a get request is just text that says get and then whatever we want. So when we're sending emails, we can put some information like the subject of the email into the link of the tracking pixel, which is going to go into the get request. On the server, I wrote some code to listen to these get requests. And then when we get one, it's going to send a text to my phone saying that our email got opened. Okay, so now we're going to try it and we're going to send out this email and hopefully when we open the email, our server is going to get the get request and then sends us a text alerting us that the email got read. Alright guys, so here I have the code that's going to send out the email and we're just going to run it and we see that the email is sent. So now on the receiver side of the email, we see that there's a new email from the sender and when we open it, hopefully it's going to show up on our phone right here with the text that says it got open. All right, so we're gonna try open it and then watch our phone. Okay, so we got a text and it says, uh, it's my passcode. So it says message to, that's a receiver's email with message, very important message has been read at and that's the time it was read. All right guys, so it works and that's pretty cool. But I've been watching a lot of these tech YouTubers and because you know, we're trying to get big this year. And what I noticed is that they all have this part of the video where they do user testing or they have like a cameo with their friends and like other YouTubers and it's a really good time. Um, so we're gonna try that. Pretty much I just got back home from college. So today we're going to see how this project goes with my parents. <laughs> okay, so hello everybody. Here I'm joined with my mom. Hello. <laughs> and um, so mom, I have you. You, when you what? send emails, you wish you could, you could, wow. <laughs> no when the person that you send the email to reads your email. Of course. Yeah, okay. I do. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to send you an email. So, okay. what's your email? Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send you an email now. Okay. Yeah, I got Oh, Jamil? Yeah, Jamil, because okay. your email is not in my like, address book. Okay, <laughs> sounds okay. good. Okay, then, so when you email, open the email, I wrote code so that I can know when you open my email. So you can... Well, there's, there's the new stuff. I can <laughs> notification, I can send no, like, but I can see. I can see you opening my email. Well, the same thing like Hotmail have like you want somebody, when somebody read your email, they send you notification. They already have that? Yeah! <laughs> okay, anyways, that's okay. fine. You didn't and know then, that? <laughs> so you open the email, right? Right. And then, and then I'm gonna wait. So pretty much I did the same thing. What happened? Okay, so see, I got a text um, that says that my message to you has been read at 12, or I guess that's Eastern time, but 12 15 eastern time mm -hmm. okay you know gmail has that feature too right <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> Thank I, you. Think, I think i think they have it the uh how to say microsoft outlook have that too i see i see <clears throat> okay. okay how come you don't know <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, so would you use next? this uh, i don't know but if 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 someone very important that 
I want them to read my email. Yeah, I'm mm. gonna use it like one person or something. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. So that was my mom, and what she was talking about, which is what I was gonna get to at the end of the video, was like, there's already extensions out there that do this. Uh, I just wanted to decode it because I thought it was interesting. But um, yeah, so like our next step for our project would be to integrate it with Google, right? Like Gmail, so we don't have to use Python to send the email. But that's kind of like reinventing the wheel because there's already Chrome extensions that will do this for you. So the one that I recommend if you want to have read receipts on your email is called Mail Tracker. I'll just put a link in the description. It's pretty nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just got home from college. Like I said, it's summer now, so I'm going to be in Chicago for the summer like it's an internship kind of thing but hopefully i'm gonna be able to make a lot of youtube videos in my free time there and go check it out so i got a new camera like i said we're trying to get big 2021 i got a new camera and then also oh man it's gonna pan also i got this sick lighting thing this is actually uncle kenny's from last video if you if you know um he actually went to jail because of child molestation so he had to give up his his um, lifelong dream of photography, but at least now we have lighting, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys hey, next time. Peace. Pull up in a right, yeah, painted with some decals. I ain't never stopped, can't be trusting any females. Got a shorty blog, had a testing through the